I guess what makes me passionate making records is dealing with, uh, uh, working with the musicians. That's the most exciting part. Assisting them as much as possible, helping them to bring, uh, help them to bring out out of them the great ideas they have. You know, so that's that's like the most rewarding part. So originally, this was a Third Presbyterian Church, and uh, um, church was active all the way until the day before Katrina. They had a service here the day before Katrina. So when Hurricane Katrina hit, of course, they sustained building sustained a lot of damage and um, they didn't decide to continue as uh, uh, to keep the place as a church so they put it in a market. One of my biggest accounts was Louisiana Philharmonic Orchestra so I was doing a lot of classical recording and trying to get into scoring and do like a large project so I was looking for a space that has a of course large room but also has a vibe really cool acoustics and um, I live two blocks away from here. So kind of 2009, I was just driving around, I saw the sign for sale. I uh, approached the real estate agent, looked through the building and totally fell in love with it. The large studios can handle large projects. So for that, we need to have enough amps, enough equalizers, uh, routing and everything else. So that's primarily, I mean, smaller format studios, I do understand that maybe there is no need for a large format councils, but the big studios, they, they still do. Uh, we do, we record orchestras. So uh, when you have a 60, 75 inputs, um, we, we need councils like that. Went to NAM show in, in uh, California with the purpose of kind of to, to look what's out there and just kind of talk to people and see uh, what my options were. Came across Rupert Neve Design and met Josh. Josh was kind enough to explain more about the mixing board, more about the uh, layout, and he sent me a couple of modules of the Shelford modules. So I had it here for a, uh, literally a few days and I just totally fell in love with the capability of EQ and sound quality of the transformers. Uh, mic press were just phenomenal. Uh, but that was it. Josh uh, uh, got me those modules and after testing out for like a few days, I made the decision to go with the console. Beside of having the tone, I like the clarity as well. So here we, not, we do so many different styles of music and classical music. With classical music and scoring, clarity is very, very important thing. Of course, with the jazz and like a New Orleans style brass bands, that clarity comes really handy as well. Having option to have a lot of clarity or quite a bit of coloration, you know, so the, the ver vers uh, versatility of 5052 modules, so shuffle modules, I mean, that's one of the most attractive features. Be able to tone the sounds down that need to be toned down or exaggerate the sound that needs to exaggeration. I mean, that flexibility. That's the reason why I got this console. Thank you, Mr. Rupert Neve. Without you, mm, things won't be possible, at least for me.